A traffic stop in Baldwin County leads to the discovery of a multi-state counterfeiting operation with ties to China. Now two men from Malaysia are in the Baldwin County Jail after investigators say they found dozens of fake Apple products. WKRG News 5's Debbie Williams is live at the Sheriff's Office Criminal Investigation Division. And Debbie, they recover just about everything Apple makes. Yeah, they did. Almost 200 items. Most of the things that they recovered, though, were fake. The real Apple products headed to China to be resold at many times over the price we would pay here. A table full of headphones, AirPods, Apple Watches, almost 200 items. Now evidence in a multi-state counterfeit investigation that stretches from Baldwin County to China. They found a treasure of fake Apple products. This all started with a traffic stop on I-65 for driving 40 miles an hour on the interstate while watching a YouTube video on a cell phone. Vincent Tang and Chalvin Tan, both from Malaysia, now charged with trafficking and stolen identities, theft of trade secrets, and possession of a forgery device. They would go in, purchase a real Apple product, and then they would have the fake in the car they would put the serial number and the IEMEI number on the fake, return that back to Target, get credit for the phone. The refund money and the authentic Apple product would then be sent to China. This is not a mom and pop operation. Uh, this is very sophisticated, very organized, and uh, obviously it's very profitable. The two had been staying at the Red Roof Inn in Bay Manette, but investigators say this operation stretches far beyond Baldwin County. And now federal authorities, the Homeland Security is involved in the investigation. They say this operation stretches from Louisiana to Florida. Local stores in Mobile, Pensacola, and in Gulf Shores were the target of this counterfeit operation. Live on the Baldwin County Beat in Robertsdale, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.